Hello everybody and welcome back to Knaves Well Farm. We're going to be continuing with field number 10 today. So we're going to get into the Fent 820. I'm told that this tractor in real life is actually 200 horsepower. So it's actually less than I thought it was, but it still seemed to be pulling that, that cultivator really well. Because that cultivator actually requires, uh, I think it's 250 horsepower. So it did a really good job. We did have to use four-wheel drive and differential lock, but still, uh, I, I'm quite impressed by it. But today it's going to have a bit of an easier job. It's going to be doing some fertiliser spreading. So we need to go and buy a fertiliser spreader. That's up at the store. So in the comments section for the video on Naves Will Farm two days ago, uh, somebody called Sean, who is a regular commenter, um, actually said some really good tips about how to use the saw mod really well and realistically and how he has used it um, over the time it's been running on FS15. Oh, I should probably always open the door actually, <laughs> it's a lot more realistic. Unless we have somehow developed the, uh, the knack of walking through a glass window or glass door. But here is our fertiliser spreader. Let's get this on. So yeah, Sean has actually posted a really, really good guide for me, and anyone in fact, uh, to know exactly how to use the soil mod relatively well. Obviously, uh, it's, it's go you're going to have to fine-tune these things, and I think Sean has pretty much done that. So um, he says that he usually does a double dose of herbicide to begin with, which is not what I did, but I still put some, some herbicide on anyway, because we did have some weeds growing through. So that should start to kill those weeds off. In future, I'll do a double dose to begin with, and then probably just a single dose after that, otherwise we could affect the crops. Um, and then, yeah, almost straight away, we should probably put some PK on. That is through the fertilizer spreader. Um, so that is what we're gonna do first of all. And then I think we should probably, if we have a field ready, yeah we do, start a harvest of barley, field 20. Because uh, we, we wanna be doing a few things at a time, because obviously the time is progressing, and um, the chances are, if, if you leave the crops too long, they're going to wither. So we do need to be really vigilant while playing on Knaves Well, while we're running the saw mod, because things can happen without you knowing. You could suddenly come back to a field and it's withered. So you've got to be very careful. Anyway, let's get this filled up. We need to go for PK. Hopefully I'm close enough. Oh no, not quite. Got to find that trigger. And yes, the money is, uh, it's a slight issue, but we'll, that is another reason why we need to start a harvest. Obviously, we need to get some money in. Uh, the money is going out, but not a great deal is coming back in again. So we'll have to do the harvest, sell some grain, and I would have thought we'd have some grain in storage as well. Also, we're not just going to keep covering this field in different fertilizers and herbicide, we're going to obviously plant it and I think I'll probably do that tomorrow just let this wash in a bit uh, but yeah, we're just really preparing the field ready for the crops to go in just overshot there <laughs> we've got to go through the field to get to it what I might do actually is put a grass border just like a track running down here because we're always going to be running on this field and it's going to be a bit weird constantly driving on a plowed field so I think what we'll do is we'll just drill it with grass, just this, this edge bit. Obviously not the whole field because that would be a waste. And I've just actually just planted, um, just ploughed it from grass anyway. So the weeds are here, but they should start to die off. Let's get this, a good covering of this over the field. So off we go. Uh, you can probably see now that it's showing that we've got herbicide B on the field. And... Um, the weed prevention was at 1%, but that seems to have disappeared again. So that's good. Obviously we're killing it off. Oh yeah, you can see actually, I think... Is that what we're spreading now? Yeah, red pellets, I think. So that's clearly showing you that we are spreading the PK. And yeah, we might either spray this in with water, or we might just let the rain do it. Depends what the forecast is like. And yeah, I think yeah by, by tomorrow we'll be able to plant this field be able to get the wheat in. It's going to be wheat. Also, I did miss this before, we have a sunroof. Just got to find the trigger. You might not want the sunroof open while doing fertilizer spreading, but just showing you've got it here. I did miss that before. 
and back up again and we'll be done. That's what I really like about this spreader. It's got a really good working width and it's not unrealistically big. And thank you to Ian Robson as well, just for confirming that plant withering is automatically on with soil mod. You can't actually disable it. So even if it shows that it's off, it is actually on. So back down the tram line, you can see on the field that all of the PK is now spread. Uh, this would be... it's a nutrients, uh, but I'm not sure what it is. Is it phosphorus or potassium maybe? Not too good with that, but anyway, it is a nutrient and it is going to be good for the crops. So let's go back to the yard, drop off the spreader and we'll get the dominator going. Now I probably should just mention this time the dominator, it's our starting off machine. It's been with the farm for a while. So we will be updating this very soon for, well when we can afford it, for a new harvester. But we're going to do it all really realistically this, so we have to wait until we can afford it. It's not going to be a huge combine, I'm, I'm kind of thinking something like a, well not, not a Takano, not a class Takano, but something like that. Something along those lines, maybe a really small Lexian. We will have to see. Uh, right, we are a bit full here, so we'll continue on. I think we'll just actually just put it down here, we might as well. We've got the space for it. So we have three tractors. We've got the Deutsch Fall, we've got the Fent, and we've got the John Deere. I think that is a good that is a good number of tractors to start off with. Uh, we, we probably won't go up too much from that, maybe get four in the end, but nothing too big. But we will change things like the Deutsch Fall, I thought, in the end. We'll just have to see. Uh, let's get that detached. Oh, I went through the glass door again. It must really hurt. And we'll drop it off there. I've also had some really good mod suggestions. Things like the gearbox mod. And uh, there was another really good one. Uh, oh yeah, the other manual attach. But there might be a conflict between that and this one. So I'll probably have to get rid of this one. As long as it works with soil mod. Uh, so yes, we have got we've got the Brantner trailer. That is actually what we have now. We don't really have anything else. So yes, I think um, this tractor is probably a bit big for that. We'll, we'll get the Deutz far. We we'll use that for uh, corn casting. But anyway, we're going to get the Dominator warmed up. We will shut this engine off. Love this tractor though. Really is good. Out we get. Just got to find the trigger. There we go. Right, let's have a bit of a stroll over to the Deutz far. We'll use Follow Me to get them to the field. Actually, I can't say that I have used Follow Me on this map before. Hopefully it does work. We will be changing this Brantner trailer. It's just what we have at the moment really against cheating on this map it just seems it seems wrong it really does it, it's a very good map to play realistically as does any map but this one somehow more right off we go So the Dominator is just over here in the shed. It has a working width of four and a half meters, so that's actually pretty good. I think you can actually climb the ladder. You can indeed. Or you can jump the ladder. But then you can um, get open the door. There we go. Kind of missed it opening, but you can open the door. So, shut the door, ladder up, engine started, let's go. Do we have working mirrors in here? Mm, don't think we do. So this is all set up. I'll just spin around in here because it's going to be quite difficult to get around the corner.
And there we go. Bit of a four or five point turn there, but we are ready to go. Uh, just thinking that might be a bit too loud. So follow me, it does work good, because that would be a real shame if it didn't. Um, yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. In we go. Let's get those folded up again. And down to what I think is field number 20, which is a really big field actually. So this is going to take a while. But it's still bigger than the Sampo Rosenlu, which we had initially. Just forget that we had that though. I probably shouldn't have mentioned that because we're going to pretend that we've always had the Dominator. That's just what you start off with. I really am looking forward to doing another harvest with this Dominator. It's probably maybe my second favourite harvester on FS. It is a very good harvester. That Lexium which we were using in Sandy Bay though, that is pretty hard to beat, I would say, with all the cameras and everything. So this is field 21, let's go back in cab. Just feels so much better in cab. And here it is, this is our field. Oh, hang on, let's just stop there because you might not be able to get in. Yes, this is a farmer, a virtual farmer who doesn't know his way around his farm. Oh good, you can. Fantastic. But it's still going to be quite hard to get in there, I'd have thought, even with this small harvester. That's why we can never really upgrade to anything too big. It's just a nice small farm in Dorset. Okay, crop destruction is on, by the way. Some people were wondering that. And I'm going to keep it on. Although it might be annoying at times. If you drive through a crop in real life, it's going to crush it. Unless you're floating. But yeah. Seriously, let's get this uh, all set up. We should probably stop the tractor there. And we'll drop the header off just there. So, let's get this header attached and let's begin work. It does seem like a very small header. But there's just something really therapeutic about harvesting a, a relatively big field with a small harvester. Let's go straight back to here. And it should be on swath mode, it is. What we will do is um, we'll row it up with a wind drawer. We're going to have to obviously be able to afford one. Uh, we don't want to be borrowing from the bank too much. But when we come to bail this, we'll row them up into bigger swaths so it's much easier and we don't miss as much. Um, but yes, we have to be able to afford a baler first as well. So this is going to be really quite difficult. Despite us playing on normal difficulty, uh, we really are starting from the bottom and working our way up. As I mentioned in uh, A Taste of Zenigal, the shadow from the shadow, the shadow from the shadow, seriously, the shadow from the harvester um, is really realistic when it gets to this time of day, when it's dusk. I should think when we get to the other side of the field it'd be even better, because the lower the sun gets, obviously the further it casts the shadow. There seems to be a, a pretty good yield actually so far on this field, we're already 25% full. And we haven't got that far. I'm liking the look of that because we really do need to make some money. And yeah, we might have to do some night work as well because we can't skip too much time because the fields will wither. And uh, what's worse than a withered field? You've just lost your entire crop. So we've got to be really careful here. What I'll probably do if uh, the harvest drags on too long is just do the rest off screen. Uh, but yeah, hoping to do some today and tomorrow. Because uh, harvesting is always a fun job. Especially inside the cab. Well, you wouldn't float behind the combine anyway, but 
yes, harvesting from in-cab view does make it a lot more fun and actually easier as well. I do find it a lot easier because you can really keep an eye on your header. Well, I love the mountains, or it won't be mountains actually, but the hills. The hills are really nice. Yeah, I don't think there's any mountains in Dorset. Oh, the good old famous mountains of Dorset. I think it's just a big hill. Here we are in the Deutz and we need to go over to the harvester because it's 81% full. If we can, it would be good if we can do all this without making it stop. Because the short time it's going to be on a worker does cost money. And obviously if it's sat there unloading with a worker running, um, although it won't cost that much, it's unnecessary money which is being wasted. So we do have to be quite careful here. It's got to there. 91%. Come on, let's get to it. Oh, it's filling up so quickly. I reckon it's going to just stop when we get to it. My foot is to the floor. Seriously, 99%. Come on. Oh, seriously, it's stopped right there. What I'm going to do then is... Um, we'll, we'll get it going again. Because otherwise that is such a waste. You can't beat that view. That does look really good. It is quite narrow in here. Once the first headland is off, it'll be fine. Well, it's not totally empty, but we'll keep going because we don't want to be using the worker the whole time. Yeah, it's just something about harvesting in the evening, which is just really picturesque. It's really nice. Just reminds you of summer. But it probably does also remind you of a lot of hard work. Oh, we should probably shut that gate as well. Just noticing there that the, uh, the weed infestation keeps sort of fluctuating. So there are a few weeds in this field, but obviously as we've just started, um, it's not too bad at all. Gotta love that shadow. Such a fiery sky. That has got to be a good thumbnail. That should be today's thumbnail, you'll have already seen it. And I think we'll probably go around the headland three times. Uh, we'll do, yeah, we'll go around three times today, I think, and then most likely leave it there, because that should fill the trailer. So we'll tip the trailer and take that back to the yard, um, put it in storage and wait for a great demand. Very important that unless we're desperate, we have to wait until the great demand, otherwise we'll be kind of throwing money in the bin. Right, well it's turned out that we are full again. Um, not put it on the worker, it's a bit of a waste of time. So we're gonna fill this trailer We've been around the field one and a half times, so we're going to go around another one and a half times. That'll make three. Uh, so we should get two full loads out of this. So we'll tip this in a minute, then we'll come back, finish off, and then once we head back to the yard the second time, that is when we'll put our feet up. Nothing like a good old harvest at dusk with some small machinery. Does it get any better than that? Gonna have to go a bit steadier now, otherwise we're gonna lose most of the grain. But yeah, back to the yard we go, and uh, yeah, just need to remember where the tipping point is. I always seem to forget. Actually, looking on the mini map there, it is showing a tipping point, a storage point. Although there is another one in the yard, so that that could be just for silage. Maybe it is here. Maybe this is the place to go. If it is, then that's really easy because we barely have to go anywhere just next door. We will have to go and investigate. It's somewhere in there, in the trees. 
Oh yeah, I shut the gate. Right, so yes, it's sharing the, like the track, driveway you might call it. And this, I can't remember, I've obviously been here before, because I did the first look. Uh, maybe this is, oh no, maybe it is. Hang on, gonna have to do a bit of investigating. Uh, yeah, that is obviously wheat or barley. And this is, again, wheat or barley, so uh, it's one of them. Let's just have a look at our texture in the back of the trailer. Yeah, that's a much more HD texture. So it's guesswork, I think, because I don't think there is a sign, although there might be. I'm just going to try one and see what it says. Go back in cab for this. We need to buy a loader as well. Oh, good. It is here. So that's accepting it. The heap is growing. Got it right first time. That's unusual. So back to our field, which is luckily not far away at all, like right here, uh, and we'll continue the harvest. I'm kind of estimating the harvester to be full again around here, so we don't have to go anywhere with this. We'll just unload when we get to it. it makes it nice and easy. Off we go again. Well, we're 64% full. Looks like we probably will be full around the tractor area. Might be just short of that. But yeah, hopefully it'll be uh, when we get to it. And then we'll just go around once again more and we'll have done our three headlands. After that, we'll just go up and down the field at the longest point, which will be probably on the other side. Work our way across. Obviously, it doesn't matter too much, but uh, we want to get the, uh, the, the longest side done first. 77, yeah. I, I don't know. It's going to be very close. I don't think we will get that far. Ninety percent. Yeah, it's going to be close, but it's not going to be far off. Could have been worse. Oh, there should be a good shadow here. Yeah, I'm suddenly obsessed with shadows in Farming Simulator. It's just so realistic. It's I'm not going to say it's the most realistic thing about it, but I don't think it could be improved. I really don't. Oh, there we go. We might as well drive to it. As long as we don't go over the crops too much. We are also going to have to get the maize harvested. We've got a few fields of maize, which was already there when we started. And that really does need to be harvested and put into a pit, into a silage pit. Because if that withers, we have pretty much lost our feed. Obviously, we can go and do some mowing, but we've done quite a lot of that recently. So we might have to get the contractors in for that, uh, because we can't really afford it. Uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, but yes, that is a bit of a priority. In fact, getting all the crops which are currently ready to harvest are all priorities because the potential is there for them to wither. Uh, we should, what we really need to do is get all the fields planted together and then they'll all be able to be harvested together. That way we avoid having one field just growing and another field totally withered. Uh, so yeah, it's a bit full on but certainly enjoying it. We are virtually around the field, obviously we're not going to fit it all in, but that is fine because what we'll do is we'll just put the rest in the combines tank, leave it, because it's going to be like literally in game time, probably 30 seconds or something between today's video and tomorrow's, 
So um, yes, it won't matter at all. It's not going to be left overnight or anything. So the aim here is just to unload the harvester, get the third headland completed, and then we'll leave it there for today. Then tomorrow, we'll get that field planted and we'll then resume this harvest. Anything else after that, I'll just do off screen. Probably won't all fit. Alright, okay, trailer's full. Auger in. And we'll just get to the gateway. Thinking about it, if we just cut straight across here, we put like a nice sharp edge on there instead of having a curve. So that make it a lot easier when we come to going up and down the field. That is drastically better. So that's going to make it a lot easier for later on. Just go across here once more and we will be done. Amazingly that has almost half filled the tank once again. So I'm, I'm guessing, well looking at the soil mod here, uh, it's quite clear to see that the field has okay nutrients, it's actually pretty good because we start off at a pretty good level it's not that harsh, it doesn't start off with nothing like a field full of weeds and no nutrients at all it's all okay so for today let's just turn this off and that'll be it we're going to tip this in the shed And let's just see how much we do have in storage. This is wheat. Uh, oh, this is barley, sorry. So, yeah, we're not doing too badly. The heap is filling up. But there we go. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And you can join me again, same time tomorrow, for the next episode. Until then, thanks again, and bye for now.